Under the sunny skies of Pyrohiv, Kiev, craftspeople from across Ukraine gathered to display their wares. It's the Spring Folk Art Fair, and scarf maker Ola is ready. She says that embroidering each scarf is an act of love. Each one takes two months to complete. These scarves, when you make them, are like your own child. You carry it, design it, then you make it. You're proud of it and hope that it will please someone. And it's very important for me to know who is the person who got this scarf. Another craftswoman, Helena, also spends two months to create a dress or shirt. It is especially difficult to embroider wedding dresses, she says. Such crafts are very appreciated, and this is very laborious work, because you need to draw threads, make twigs, and then smooth them out. It's a type of satin stitch embroidery. Potter Dimitro shows five-year-old Nika how to make a clay mug with her own hands. Here, Hagrid, we need to make a carrot out of this to draw the excess air out, which may be in the clay. Then you'll have to press again and make a ball out of it. An experienced potter can make something in just a few minutes. Nika had to spend a little more than 10, but she was happy with the result. Alexander makes straw hats. He says that the material grows in his own yard. His wife sees to growing and harvesting the raw material, which Alexander then transforms into the products we see here today. Look how much I did today. I need to weave 20 meters if it's a hat for a man. Then it's soon together here and here. And then it goes, goes, goes and ends with the brim. The craftsman usually spends around three days to make a hat like that. However, this one took a full three weeks. The works of Ukrainian craftspeople are admired abroad as well. In the Netherlands, a bike similar to this one recently debuted in an advertising campaign.